Wonder Woman's always been part of my world. So, I mean, she's just part of the family. It just feels like she was always there. She was always a part of my childhood. And the first time I actually saw her was on the Brady Kids cartoon. I, I don't have much of a memory of that, but what really struck me was how much I loved this character, this sort of uh, over-the-top, star-spangled creature. You know, the, the bracelets and the hair and the crown. When I was a kid, she was the girl superhero, mm -hmm. so she's who we had to latch on to, and I really loved Wonder Woman and loved, like, these characteristics of her. She was so strong, she was so amazing, and she could fight with the boys. When I was a kid, you have to remember that Wonder Woman wasn't a big deal. We've watched Wonder Woman evolve over the years. Um, you know, it starts in the 1940s. And it really hit it in the, uh, with the Linda Carter TV show in the 70s. You know, you push all the way into the 80s when George Perez takes on the character and really does a reinvention and a relaunch that I think reinvigorated the whole fan base. It wasn't a book that a lot of people seemed to be volunteering for. In fact, it, at that point, Wonder Woman was always an assigned book. No one volunteered to do Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman becomes a cultural icon when she becomes the cover of Ms. Magazine, and she launches that magazine, and she stands for a very particular ideal, and she is about female empowerment. When we were uh, conceding my direction for the character, I got in a lot of input. I had uh, lunch with Ms. Stein and with my, with my editor, Karen, uh, and you know, she gave me some uh, her points of view, some of them I agreed with, some of them I, I, I would probably uh, soft pedal. But I did learn a lot, realizing that even though she is a feminist icon, I didn't want it to be a feminist book. I wanted it to be a humanist book. The fact that it's not a us or them type of thing between a battle of the sexes. No, it's, it's an equality thing. I didn't realize until I started helping my father with the museum website and everything else, I hadn't realized how important Wonder Woman is to so many people all around the world. I didn't know that. A lot of the characters, they take on mythic proportions and they stop being characters and only become ideals for other people and representation of what's important to them. And I think Wonder Woman is important to so many people by what she represents. One of the things that was interesting growing up as a, as a queer kid, I always say, is that looking for um, uh, fantasy figures that I could relate to it was actually very, very difficult. So one of the reasons Wonder Woman's always appealed to me is that more than most characters, she's been allowed this amazing gamut of emotional experience and one that seems the most human to me. And I think primarily she's allowed that because she's a female character, because she's a woman. The thing that I really connect with Wonder Woman is um, her search for the truth. And I think in writing, that's always what we're trying to do is find this truth and find these relatable experiences and the truth of humanity and this truth that we're trying to convey to our audiences and our readers. And that's something that's really unique about Wonder Woman. She helped so many people and a, like incredibly diverse group of people too. It didn't matter like age, where they're from, gender, sexual preference, religion, nothing mattered. It was just that one common thing. They share her values.